What would a cruise ship look like if AI designed it? Would the buffet be any different? In this video, I'm going to make a whole ship tour with the help of the website Leonardo.ai to find out what an AI looking cruise ship would look like. Let's get the boring bits of the ship out of the way and start our tour on the lowest passenger accessible deck, Deck 1. Here you will find the entries for the tenders and the medical center. Deck 2 and most of Deck 3 has passenger cabins as well as the galley. Now onto deck 4, definitely more exciting than the previous decks, and at the after the deck we have the first level of the My Time Dining Restaurant 3 course. First seating dining opens at 5.15 to start orders at 5.30, and the second seating opens at 7.30 to begin orders at 7.45. Here you can also get lunch. Moving up we have grooves. During the day it's a nice calm jazz and piano themed bar, where you can have a nice drink while the band plays soothing jazz or piano solos. Toward the evening, the fun starts with the piano player taking it up a notch with piano medleys and sing-alongs. Then finally, later in the night, the bar converts into a dance club. Next we have snacks, a late night food offering, a smaller buffet only open later at night. Here you can get the same options as the poolside eats which will be shown later on. Moving up is the jackpot casino. Take your chance at the numerous table games including blackjack, craps, Texas Hold'em, Poker, or hit the slots or the poker machines if they take your fancy. Here you can also find the jackpot bar. And finishing the deck is Extra Plate, the included restaurant for those that prefer anytime dining. Open to surf from 5.30 and taking the last reservations at 9. The menu has the same options as 3 course. Here you can also have breakfast. Moving up to deck 5 and at the aft is the second level of 3 course. Here you can also book the chef's table for that something extra. Next we have the bar, Hair of the Dog. The first bar to open each day. If you need that pick me up in the morning, this is the place to go. Across on starboard we have Cruising Cafe. This opens at 5am, it's the best place for that coffee wake up in the morning. It also offers a variety of baked goods to eat. A head on port site is essentials. Come here for all those essentials that you forgot to bring on board or have run out, such as your toothbrush or shaver. Next we have the wide open atrium. You can see all the decks up to deck 8. It can also be used for deck parties when the weather has decided to have other ideas about being on the open decks. If you're wondering, there are deck plans, but they were hand drawn by me just so I could figure out exactly where everything needed to go and the names of the locations. But as you just saw, the pictures are definitely made by AI and didn't exactly go to plan. At the forward of the deck we have Showtime, the main theatre. Spanning three decks, come here for all the nightly shows as well as activities such as bingo. This deck also has access to the walking track from the doors near the atrium and near the cruising cafe and the hair of the dog. Onto the after deck 6 and we have the second theatre, Back Studio. Here we have comedians and activities such as trivias, and don't worry about it being standing room only for the comedians, deck 7 has the second level so there are plenty of seats available. Moving up and on port side is Goals, the sports bar. Here you can have a drink while you sit and watch your favourite sport. If you're getting hungry, don't worry you can order food such as burgers, wings and other sports bar favourites. Cross is the Old Pint, the English pub. Come here for that classic pub feeling. Just past the stairs and elevators is the Shore Tours desk. Want to know anything about the tours that are available? Then come find out here. And if you're wondering why I decided to only use generative pictures and not video, let's just say it's not pretty, as you can see. Ahead on port side is Bling. If you're wanting that special piece of jewelry, then Bling is for you. Next is Roses. Perfect to find that perfect cruise smell. Mm -hmm. 
Over on Starboard is Tech, the technology store. Need something technology related? Here you'll find it. And lastly for the stores on this deck is Tax Free, the duty free store. Come here for your duty free purchases. Between Tech and Tax Free is another bar, the second seating. Come here for a drink to either take into the Showtime Theatre or to overlook the atrium. And lastly for this deck is the second level of the Showtime Theatre. On to deck 7 and at the aft we have the second story of the back studio. Moving up is the specialty bar concoctions. Here you can order specialty made drinks not available anywhere else on the ship. Or if you're not quite sure what you're after, ask the bartenders what kind of drink you want and they can make it for you. Cross is the saloon, the ship's specialty steak restaurant. Designed to look like a Wild West saloon, focusing on different cuts of steak. Don't worry though if you're not a steak eater, there are plenty of options as well, such as vegetarian and vegan options. If you don't want to actually have something to eat here, it's also the specialty bourbon bar. Next is Art House. Come here to have a look at the various pieces of art available to purchase, or what's going to be available on offer at the art auctions. Next is Perfect Shot, the ship's professional photography studio. Make that cruise a little bit more special with our professional photographers. Ahead is Guest Services. Here they can help you with anything related to the cruise or direct you to who can help you. Moving up is the next two shops. First is Cruise Keeps, for all the ship's souvenirs that you may want to purchase. We then have Shoreside. Here you can purchase anything you need when going ashore during port days. Cross is Memories. Here you can purchase all the photos that the ship's photographers have taken of you during the cruise. Ahead, overlooking the atrium, is Catch, a sushi and teppanyaki bar. The sushi is available for both takeaway and sit down if you wish, or if teppanaki is your thing, make sure you book a seat. Next is the Top Show Bar. Come here to order your drink for the Showtime Theatre or when you just want to look over and see what's happening in the atrium. And lastly for this deck is the top deck of the Showtime Theatre. On deck 8, at the aft, is Relax, the ship's spa area. Come here for massages as well as anything for you to relax. The rest of this deck as well as decks 9, 10 and 11 are passenger cabins, as well as self-serve laundries. Deck 12 is also passenger cabins as well as the bridge, and due to superstition there's no deck 13. On deck 14, at the aft we have secluded, the adults only area. Moving up is the indoor garden walk, surrounded by shaken not stirred, cellar and date night. It's the perfect place for the quiet day or just a date night. Inside the garden walk we have the martini bar, shaken not stirred. Come here for the best martinis at sea. If martinis aren't your thing but you prefer wine, then next is Cellar, the ship's wine bar. And finishing off the garden walk is date night, the adults only specialty restaurant. Come here for that perfect date night. Ahead is Extra Life, the ship's arcade. Here we have a variety of arcade games for the young and young at heart. Cross
Across from that is Candy Shop. Here you can get custom made milkshakes that your heart desires as well as plenty of lollies to eat. Moving up on port side is the teens area. First we have the chill spot for ages 13 to 15. Some of the generations needed more helpful prompts than others as you can see here, where the teens area was more like a casino the first time I asked for it. We then have Hangout for the 16 to 18 year olds. On port side, we have the younger kids areas. The Happy Hive for ages 2 to 5. The Playground for ages 6 to 9. and the Fun Factory for ages 10 to 12. On deck 15 we have, at the aft, the open seating area of the buffet, and inside you'll find plenty of buffet stations, offering anything from nuggets and chips, to Asian, to roasts, to cakes, you won't have trouble finding something to eat. Moving forward is the gym, just so you can burn those extra calories from the buffet off. Onto deck 16 and at the aft we have Destinations, a specialty restaurant focusing on the food related to the destinations of that cruise. Come here to try a meal that the locals would have in the destinations that you're going to. Moving up and we have the Bear Rum Bar, fancy rum based drink, here you can get it. Attached is Slices, the ship's complimentary pizza offering. We then have the pool. Don't worry if the weather turns bad, the roof can be closed over it. Ahead is Patty's, the burger bar. Come here for the most freshest and juiciest burgers at sea. Next to Patty's, and we have the Lime and Salt, the ship's tequila bar. Moving ahead, and we have Fiesta Grill, offering different Mexican options, including tacos and burritos. We then have Themes, a secondary specialty bar. While just an ordinary bar during the day, on theme nights, it sells drinks related to the theme nights. We then have Scoop Shot, a cafe and ice cream bar for the pool deck. And now we have the outside pool. Come here if you want to enjoy the sun and maybe catch a movie on the big screen. Moving along is the rock climbing wall which goes up to deck 17. Next is the Splash Water Park for the kids, with plenty of options, it'll keep the kids entertained for days. Also here you will find the exits for the water slides and the water coaster. Surrounding Splash is the mini golf course, with 9 challenging holes for you to take on. Moving up to deck 17 is the basketball course and the outdoor fitness areas. Combined with the jogging track which goes around the deck, here you can look down to the pool or also see the big screen. So what do you think? Is this a ship you would sail on? Would you change anything? Tell us in the comments. We then have the ropes course. Can you tackle it? And then we have the water coaster entry. This goes all the way around the ship. The perfect ride to see the whole ship, plus it gets the best views of the ocean when out at sea. And lastly, you have deck 18, which has the entries to the water slides.
But that's only the parts of the ships that the passengers can enjoy. What about the ship's cabins? Or the backstage areas for the crews? Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on seeing those. In the meantime, if you want to see an actual ship tour, have a look at this one here.